This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to look at in this video is the newest Plex app for Roku. You're going to see this app roll out on a number of devices over time. It might already be on whatever you've got right now. But because Roku has so many Plex users and it's one of the most popular channels on it, we're starting with Roku first. In order to make sure you have the latest Plex, you want to go into settings. You want to go over to system. And you want to go to the system update. We just did our update. You'll see it was last checked just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, it's it's early, late, depending on what you want to do. But you want to make sure that you've got the latest update. We've got system 9.0 right now. So that's always going to help you make sure that your channels are updated. Whenever your system is up to date, your channels are up to date. Otherwise, it may have automatically rebooted for you and gone in. So without further ado, let's jump into Plex. Now what you're going to see here is the second screen. What we did was we already signed in. You get a screen that says sign in to Plex at plex.tv slash link. If you're familiar with Plex already, you've seen this all before. What's new is this. Here they're asking you to choose a server because we have multiple servers. If you don't have multiple servers, this won't even be an issue for you. But if you're somebody who has you know, a laptop server and a dedicated movie server and you, sh or you share with a friend, you're going to have different things labeled. I don't know what your labels are. The ones we have are these. And what we're going to jump into is Martin Family here. This is a great demo server that we like to use. So you're going to check that, and you're going to press continue. On this screen, you see all of these categories. And this might not mean much to you right now when you're just looking at it. But what it is, is these are all the categories on the home page. And we're going to show you what it looks like to start with. And we're also going to cover how to change things up if you choose to. So we're going to go ahead and finish right here and move along. And what you see here is the brand new look for Plex on Roku and, like I said, possibly whatever you've got right now, whether it's a Fire TV or Apple TV, I don't know. And you'll notice it's a big difference from the look that we had on our Roku just a couple of months ago. If you remember, the Plex orientation was across the top of the screen and not the side of the screen. This vertical menu here actually reminds me a lot of the basic Roku menu. And even more, it goes back to the roots of the Plex Media Server, or the Media Player, I believe it was called. It was one of the original Plex apps, and it was meant for the PC. So it was designed with this system like this that later, coincidentally, became kind of incorporated with the Fire TV. The original Fire TV had the same kind of deal left based the right side of the screen would change but you see that in general this incorporates everything that Plex does movies music and so on and I think that's really nice it's pretty straightforward and you'll even notice that it has a section for more here when you click on more you can actually jump in and see things that are on your other servers so while we're focusing on the Martin family. If you want to see what's on this one, it's on there. So you can jump in, jump into any other servers that you challenge, that you, you know, that you work with. But right now, like I said, we're going to stick with the Martin and go with that. So we're going to exit out and just bounce around. And as you see, this works more or less like Plex always has. It has the recently added things, recently movies, this is all on the home screen. This is just basic stuff that Plex has always done, or at least has done in the last couple of years. It integrates different features, and that's all on the home page. Now, something that's going to make a lot of people happy is the playlists. There's no playlist set up on this right now, but playlist was missing from the more recent update, and people were, you know, they were worried that Plex was taking them away, 
It was just a matter of working out the right kind of formatting for them. So you can once again create playlists and access them directly from the home page, and that's great. The movies section works like it always has. And in this movie section, you'll notice you have the recommended based on the things that it thinks that you like, while the library is everything that you have. And if you have a movie playlist, you can access it right from there. Get back. Music is the same thing. Recommended. Library for everything. And playlists. Photos. I'm not sure where it gets recommended photos. Like, oh, we seem to, you, you seem to like looking at, you know, pictures of buildings. I don't know. But, again, it's the same sort of deal. Except in this case, instead of having playlists, it's got albums. And you can expect the same from all of the others, see? Web shows is a little different because you can select things that you consider your shows. The great thing is that it does allow you to search into different categories. So you should be able to find whatever it is that you're specifically looking for. Now news is a feature you might not have seen on Plex before. It's an aggregator. But they put it right there on the home screen, make it easy to rack, you know, easy to get into. Podcasts is pretty self-explanatory. They're podcasts. Again, my podcasts, categories. So the thing about this menu is that all of the menus are pretty uniform. You have your main thing on the left, your subcategories on the top based on recommendations and things like that. And there you go. Like I said you want to jump into a different server, jump into more. You can jump check out the other servers. But let's say you've gotten bored with one server and you're like, you know, all my best stuff is on the other server. I shouldn't have even made that my main server. How do you change it? It's easy. You're just going to go up to the top of the page and you're going to go in here to whatever yours is. I, I certainly hope yours doesn't say Downey Ryan M, and unless your name also happens to be Ryan Downey, lucky you. But this is my main user page and you'll see it has switch user settings, reset home customizations, server status, and sign out. And of course, exit. What you want to go to is reset home customization. And this allows you to do a couple of things. First of all, you have to agree here that you definitely want to change and say yes. And what it does is it brings you back to the page that we started on. So let's say instead of using Martin family, you do want to use this Samuel John Logie. I'm going to say continue. And again, it gives you the chance to take a look at things. And since you already saw what it looks like with everything in place, let's just go with something like podcasts, news, and like, let's just say we want to do music. So we'll take everything off but music and podcasts. So now you want to jump in, listen to music, listen to podcasts, and just chill out. There you are. Music, podcasts. And of course, anything that you don't want in your home page, you can remove it. So in your home page, and you can do this with anything. You can go to manage hubs. And you can take things out. You can move them up or down. You can do a lot with this. And that's cool. It's a very, very, very customizable setup. It reminds me a lot more of Cody in that you can go right in and you can set it up you know, very customizable the way that you want it. So we're going to go back to the default that we had before. Go back into Martin Family, continue, set it up with everything, and there you are. 
So that's a look at the new Plex setup. I think it might be the nicest one they've had. I'm sure there's going to be some people that say, you know, I hate it. But, you know, there's always someone who hates things. But I like the, the, the sort of simple interface that they've got here. It feels very familiar for some reason. Probably because I've been using the program so long I remember the original. But that's this. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, you know, just let you know, I, I made this video when a commenter said, I can't figure out how to switch servers. And I didn't even realize that they had just updated this. So, yes, I absolutely read the things that you say. Sometimes when you're negative, I just <laughs> blow it off. But when you ask a question, I try to help. So please keep commenting. Yeah, thank you for the encouragement. Uh, from here on out, as usual, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. And follow us on Facebook. And as always, stream on, my friends.